Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mavi. We are back with more Terraria version update 1.3. We're back. I made a small little enclosed area. We are going to finish it with everything a guide needs to want to live there or any NPC as a matter of fact. So he needs a table, chair, doors, and of course an enclosed inside with doors. Uh, with Sorry, with walls. Um, the bench counts as a table, so you don't need to mess with that. So let's see here. So we need a small. We need to make a small area where he can live. I can easily consult with him whenever I need to know which item does what. Because honestly, um, we're not playing with my epic mod pack anymore, which means we can't simply just press the F button to know exactly where anything. Whoa! Did you see that? I just realized. But he opened the door, shot that freaking slime, went inside, and closed the door. Honestly, that is a really awesome and cool improvement to their AI. I'm impressed. That makes me really happy. Oh man, it's so cool. Right, let's continue putting this down. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to set. Oh, it also needs a light source. Let's not forget that. A light source is needed. Two light sources. So let's see. If I press housing, I'm going to put him here. No hobo. No hobo. Build a house suitable enough for your first town NPC, such as the guide to move into. So it's just him. I'm not going to make any more NPC houses just yet. Instead, we're going to use him to see what else we can do. So with the snow, can we make anything awesome? We can make just snow bricks. And I can't click on the snow brick to see what it turns into. Sadly, we actually need the snow brick. So that sucks. I can't see like where it keeps going. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. So crafting guide. Like a lot of cool stuff here. <laughs> Chlorophyte, shroomite, uh, luminite brick. What? Luminite brick? It needs luminite, a pebble from the heavens. What? That's new and cool and awesome. So yeah, stone pretty much just makes this regular stuff here. Um, yeah, I'm going to be spelling something out later on. Absolutely. So let's see here. I mean, my most abundant resource at the moment is going to be wood. Let's see what we can make. So I make a bed that requires some silk, which which means I need a sawmill. And that requires um, you know, some other stuff as well. So target dummy, mannequins, mannequins, blah, 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 blah. Fishing pole, sawmill. So I need any iron bar and a chain to make a sawmill. We can do that right now. Pretty easy. Here it is. So one of the first weapons that we can craft that's new. Wooden yo-yo. Oh, we need cobwebs. But anyway, wooden yo-yo. Very fast. Would love to use that. So we got to go underground and fight and figure out what we can do with that. Mine cards. Um, 1580 bars. So before we head back to the underground, um, I mean back to the underground, before we go down there, first of all, because, you know, we haven't really explored much of it, we're going to have to make our own mine. I'm going to probably make it here and let it go down to the ride or something or here straight down to the underground. Look, look, he's talking. I have no idea what he wants. Some kind of fishing shit. Okay, so in my chest here, I'm going to take my lead bar, this thingy, I'll take the potion, I'll leave the rest of the stuff here, we're not going to need it, especially this wood wall, leave the acorns as well, we'll keep the rope, and snow blocks, we'll keep that too, stone block will hold it because, well, we're going to be digging more stone, so let's see here, with this we can make a chain, and with the chain we can go ahead and make the sawmill, now, let's see though, sawmill, right? There we go. Perfect. So place that here. And can I do anything with this right now? I think a good amount of stuff. I can make a loom now, which is used to make silk, and we can make a bed with that. Good for uh, setting up our spawn point. But since we're already at like the beginning here, it's not too bad. Throw a climbable rope. Yeah, let's try these. I've never actually used these, so we'll see how good they are. Now I have a eight tin ore. Can I make a? I mean, I have a good amount of arrows. Let's see here. Where would I be able to make this? Right here. Tin bow. Sweet. All right. So we got two range items here. I'll keep the sword on me just in case. I'm not sure if we're going to use it. And I guess that's it. This is it. Let's head to the underground. Make a little area. It's nighttime and he's... Oh, it's nighttime now. It wasn't nighttime. He was just running around. All right. Let's get out of here, huh? So the bow should do more damage. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Oh my god, shoot him! What the heck, man? He had some. He had 12 copper ore on him. Cool. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Alright, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. 
Oh, there's fireflies everywhere. All right, so we're gonna start digging down here to the right, just down and right. That's where we're gonna be digging. It's gonna take a while because, of course, we have a very, very poopy pickaxe, but you gotta start somewhere, all right? Um, as soon as we get some more lead stuff, which is the iron of this world, then we'll start making more stuff. So I'm gonna make a couple of wooden platforms. We're gonna be kind of fancy with this. So this is gonna be the mine shaft. I can easily just go down here like that, and then we'll continue from there. I brought the chains with me. I don't know why. Hello, Zomber. You know what? If it's just one enemy, I might as well fight using the regular. Ah, oh, screw that. It takes forever. Kill him. Fall down my trap hole. I made this for you. All right, here we go. Going down. Just nice stairs down to the right. Nice and simple. Uh, we're getting lots of dirt and lots of stone, so we can go ahead and use it to uh, just for you know lots of basic beginner recipes. And yeah, I might as well fight the demon eye, right? Oh man, look at the health on this guy though. But yeah, the 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 earlier I kill him, the more chances I get at getting lenses, which is used to make you know boss summoning items and the like. So yeah, it's uh, pretty important I do this. He just got hit 28. No, no, something else got hit 28. He did 28 damage, and I think he killed a firefly or something. All right. God dang it. So I should be doing more damage. Yeah, absolutely doing more damage with this. I'll just keep shooting up. Maybe they'll get hit. Maybe I'll hit him in the eye. I don't know. All right. Screw it. Let's aim at him. All right. Some lenses, please. I mean, money's not the worst, but I would like some lenses. That's the big reason why I'm fighting. There we go. Got some lenses. Good job. Oh, this guy's getting freaking, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Getting flanked. Thank you, guide. Since NPCs can fight, do you think maybe I should make, like, some sort of, like, town area where they can all just run out and fight with me? That'd be kind of hard to make, though, because, you know, at nighttime, where I would need their help the most, they're all pretty much going to be indoors, so... Nah, it's just gonna be pretty cool and interesting to see exactly what the NPCs have. Like, will all of them have bows and arrows? I mean, come on. I'm pretty freaking sure, like, the gun NPC is gonna have like, some sort of pistol to fight with. If, they, if they're all gonna use bows, I call shenanigans on that. That's B to the S. Okay, so, here we go. Just dig it down to the right. Uh, someone might be saying, Mobby, why do you even have dirt? What is the point? Well... Not only is dirt a, good, a great resource for making really early bridges, but it's good for terraforming, especially this place right here. If I want to make it level, I'm going to have to use a lot of dirt to do so. You know, grass will grow on it. You can use it to spread lots of stuff. It's honestly, every block in this game has a use. Even if it's just for decoration. You know, it's something. Alright, so down to the right. I, I'm really trying to find a natural cave right now. Du, du, du. You guys like my cool crazy spiky hair? I like it. It's nice. Alright. I hear one enemy nearby, which means we're close to a cave. Otherwise, enemies wouldn't be able to spawn. Two enemies nearby. This uh, precise... Three enemies. Ooh, two enemies. Yeah, this precise uh, radar is actually not that bad. And it's a, um, you know, it's a special one. It actually has... It's a precise... It's just radar, but it's precise. Plus two critical chance. At this point of stage, I'll take any help I can get. Hmm. I'm not sure if I've made a lot of use of clay blocks yet in any of my Terraria um, worlds. Not sure. Two enemies still nearby. And no sign of a cave just yet. Honestly, it's probably like directly to the, to the left of my character. Oh, there's some stuff here. I want to grab that. Tin ore. Some good tin ore. Now I'm breaking it. I'm breaking the... Um, it looks ugly now. I broke the stairs. I wanted to be able to just run down here, but I broke it, and now it looks super ugly. Doo -doo. Screw it. We'll keep going. There's no time to make everything look pretty. Gotta run straight down, find more iron and gold and whatever. I just gotta start making new items, man. Look how fast I dig. Anything would help. And, you know, just to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, there are mounting... Uh, like mining mounting machines we can get that honestly just wreck wreak havoc upon the underworld down here I can't wait to get it. I'm not sure if it's a drop or if I'm gonna be able to craft it myself either way 
I think that might be one of the achievements. So it's like get one of those and you know dig with it. Where are the caves at? No, this is uh, where the caves at. No, this is kind of weird. Na, 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 no, no. So I'm gonna try to not cut anything out of here, just so. Well, not only is it for integrity to show you guys I'm not cheating and my spawning items in or anything, but I just, you know, I'm really excited with this 1.3 update. So I want to show everything here, especially those who maybe might be new to Terraria. This is pretty much how the game is, you know. It's, it's what you make it. You run around, you uh, get resources, you build whatever you want. You can get creative with your house and variety of ways, you know, you spawn NPCs. Terraria is just one of those games where it's, okay, it, it's kind of simple, but you know, the, the farther you dig down in the game, then you realize that, hey, this is a lot more than meets the eye. Wait, what's this to the bottom left? I think there's a cave here. Cave? Yeah, look at this, a tiny cave. We finally found something, huh? All right, here's something. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna dig down this to the bottom left. Some jellyfish down there. Some sand, I guess. With sand, it's, it's important to get sand too. Um, I think uh, with the sand and a furnace, you can make some glass. And with the glass, you can make glass bottles. And with glass bottles, you can make potions. So yeah, it's gonna be important that I do this as well. Gotta collect sand. I'm gonna run down here to the left. Uh, we also have to dig in a fashion, and uh, I've been doing it. Uh, dig in a fashion, in a pattern, where if you need to run back up, you're able to, you know? You can, uh, you know, without the need of super crazy jumping equipments, you know, just run up the stairs, and it's all good and dandy. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Alright, got a couple of, uh, can't put the thing in there. Da -da -da -da. Did I run out of snowballs? I ran out of snowballs. Let's make a couple more. Or rather, all of them. All right, some torches, lesser healing potions. Keep going down. We'll go just straight down from here. Do, 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 do. Wanna kill that jellyfish. But, you know, it looks like there's a cave down here. That goes somewhere. You can't really tell, even if you look at the map, whether or not it's morning or not. There are some little tricks you can use, however. Uh, first of all, listen. So the music changes when it's morning and night, and you can look at the map, I lied. Um, once you see the NPC moving around in the outside, that usually means it's morning and they feel safe to roam around. So that's another good way to look at it. Later on, you're gonna get stuff like, uh, I mean, there you go, the music changed. So let's see, the music change, which means I'm in a different biome, and I'm lower. Hardened sand block, that is a new item right there. Hardened sand block. It's not a material, which means um, you can't turn it into anything that I know of anyway, but it can be placed. So here we go. I was hoping to find another chest down here or something. We'll fight these jellyfishes though. Blue jellyfish. That's not a blue jellyfish. Does that look blue to you? Oh, the yellow. Sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. I was looking at the blue jellyfish, but I was talking about the slime. I'm an idiot. All right, here we go. Aha, got some glow sticks. Not bad. What a little boring area though. Okay, so like I said, dig so you can actually move around. Oh man. Okay, so we're gonna dig this, make tiny little stairs here. And I guess we can go down from here. Okay, let's jump down here. Ah! All right, yellow slime. Prepare to meet your maker. Snowballs, that's right. Okay, and an arrow. Okay, okay. Whew. Arrows have low DPS. Gotta be using my snowballs here. The hardest part about any Terraria, you know, world is simply starting out. I can, I can, you know, I'll be the first to say, man, it's kind of tough. All right, I can put this here, put this here, just for some, some, some quick, uh, some quick rope play here. I'm not sure if you can make your rope. I know you can purchase it, but I, I never ever purchased any ropes. It's easier to just, you know, do it this way. Whew. There's not much going on here. There's no ores or anything. This sucks. We're gonna keep digging though. We went down a good amount. It looks like there's something here though, so let's dig to the right. But for now, I'm gonna have to end it here. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. It, it really helps. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. Motoraria update 1.3 expert mode on the way. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> okay.
Okay. I think we're gonna be okay though. It's night two. It shouldn't be that bad. Oh fuck, dude! <laughs> ah! Oh yeah! What happened? What happened? Did I die? 